In this video, we are going to discuss that how to install and download Eclipse IDE. So we shall follow step by step for your easy understanding and also we shall give you one practical demonstration so that also you can do the same on your system. Eclipse IDE download. Visit this link and download the Eclipse IDE for the Linux version. So the link is given in front of you. You are supposed to select the respective Linux version. And here you can select this 64 bit also and then download the tar.gz file. So file will get downloaded onto the default download folder. So now Eclipse ID installation. So already we have downloaded but we are starting with the installation process. Extract the downloaded tar.gz file. So now you can this is the tar.gz file is there in the download folder. Go for the right click and then go for extract here. Go to the eclipse directory after, after extraction go to the eclipse directory and then eclipse installer open it and run the eclipse hyphen inst this is the name of the file eclipse hyphen inst file. So, you should click on that eclipse uh, hyphen inst file to start the installation process. Eclipse ID installation next step. So, now download the Eclipse ID for Java developer because in our coding we will be using the language Java. So, select this option that is Eclipse ID for Java developer. So, Eclipse ID for Java developer and then install it into the default location and it will ask you to accept the license agreement, accept it and continue with the installation process. Eclipse ID installation next step. So, after installing launch the Eclipse ID and it will ask for creating workspace where the our respective Java projects will be saved. So, create it at the default location or you can give some other locations also and launch the ID as well. So, in this way these are the steps you see it is asking for the workspace and then you can browse it you can go for other locations otherwise you can select this default workspace and that that I have done and now the installation process will be completed. So, let us go for one practical demonstration to give you the idea that how this installation will be doing in practice in actual. In this video we are going to discuss that how to load Eclipse in our system. So, at first we are going for that uh, URL that is a www.eclipse.org and here we are selecting the option download. Selecting 64 bit version, then Eclipse uh, INST Linux 64, the respective file is getting loaded. We are going to for the saving and then we are going for this OK. And here you can find that uh, the file is getting downloaded, the respective progress is being shown. And to see the status, also you can click on this download icon, you can see the respective status. Eclipse INST Linux 64.tar.gz is the name of the file is getting downloaded. The file has got downloaded in the download folder. So, this is the respective folder we have got it. Now, let, let me create one uh, target folder here. So, under this home we are going to go for new folder giving the name as say Eclipse and then from here we are going for control A and then we are dragging it to the target folder. So, all files have got copied. Now, you are executing the executable one eclipse hyphen inst the respective file is getting executed which is nothing but eclipse installer here. So, eclipse id for java developer is the option which we are going to select now. Now, we shall click on the install and the default folder is there. We are sticking with the default folder otherwise we can change the respective folder here. So, now it is in installation. Now, remember accepted licenses and then we shall go for the accept. Installation is now in progress. You can easily view on the screen. Now, the installation has got completed, we are going for this launch option. 
so eclipse uh, photon is getting loaded the version is for june 2018 so let us execute one hello world program to show you that my eclipse uh, installation has got done successfully here you see there is a default workspace i can change it but i can stick with this default workspace here going for this launch option Minimizing the welcome page. There's the welcome page is there. So let us create one Java project. So demo project, the name of the Java project we have given. Going for next, going for finish. Under this uh, demo project, we are going for the SRC folder. That is the source folder. There, we are going for the right click and we shall select the Java class, new Java class. Giving the class name, say demo class, going for finish. Making that main function to come, automatically it will get written by the Eclipse IDE. So demo class dot Java. So let us just put one sys out and then we shall go for control space going for this hello world running the code now and you shall get the hello world getting printed indicates that successful installation and running of the eclipse id so that is output we have got thanks for watching this video